Hi. Now, in this video, what I want to do is show you how we go about solving fractional equations which have two terms, and in the denominator, we've got fractions which contain letters, okay, as you can see in these two examples here. So, what we need to do is get rid of the fractions, and the way that we can get rid of the x and the x plus 2 is to multiply both sides by x and x plus 2. So I take this and I multiply the left hand side, that's 3 divided by x, and I also do the same, that is multiply the right hand side with x multiplied by x plus 2. So just copy down the right hand side as 5 over x plus 2. And we'll put that in brackets like so. Now what I can do is cancel out common factors. I can cancel out this x with this factor here, x. And in this term here, I can cancel out the factor x plus 2 with the x plus 2 factor there. So what we've got then is therefore we have 3 multiplied by the bracket. 3 multiplied by x plus 2 and this equals 5 multiplied by the x, or just simply 5x. So therefore I can expand the bracket here and just get 3x plus 6, and that equals the 5x. And now noticing that I've got more x's on the right hand side, I'm going to subtract 3x then from both sides. So if I take 3x from the left hand side here, 3x take away 3x just leaves me with 0 there plus the 6. So I just get left with 6. And then for this one, 5x take away 3x leaves me with 2x. And now I can divide both sides by 2. So I get 6 divided by 2 is 3 and that equals 2x divided by 2, which is x. And I'll just finish with x equaling 3. OK? Now, you might like to have a go at this one. 7 divided by 5x minus 3 equals 2 divided by x plus 1. I'll just give you a moment, if you'd like to have a go, to pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So again, in this one, we need to get rid of the fractions here, the 5x minus 3 and the x plus 1. So what we do is therefore multiply both sides by 5x minus 3 and x plus 1. So we just put that in. So multiplying the left-hand side, so that would be 7 divided by 5x minus 3 and I'll put that again in brackets, and we're multiplying the right-hand side also with 5x minus 3 times x plus 1 multiplied by 2 over x plus 1. Just about get that in there. So we just put that in brackets like so. So what happens is that we can cancel out common factors now. The 5x minus 3 can cancel out with 5x minus 3 there. And x plus 1 here can cancel out with the x plus 1 there. So what we have therefore got is 7 multiplied by x plus 1. And this equals 2 multiplied by 5x minus 3. And we can expand the brackets, and if we expand the brackets, we've got 7x plus 7 equals 10x minus 6. Noticing again, I've got more x's on the right-hand side than the left-hand side, so I'm going to subtract 7x from both sides. If I do that, I therefore have 7 left on the left-hand side, and 10x take away 7x is 3x and then I've got the minus 6. Now I'm going to add 6 to both sides, so we get 7 add 6, which is 13, equals the 3x. And now I just need to divide both sides by 3, so 13 divided by 3 equals x, or x equals 13 thirds. I could leave it like that, 
or I could write it as a mixed fraction. Threes go into 13 four times with one left over, one third. So we have x equals four and a third. Okay, so I hope that gives you an idea then how to handle these types of questions.